What's up, Chiefs Kingdom? Welcome back to the channel. Big news just dropped, and you know we have to talk about it. Harrison Butker is officially out and heading to injured reserve, meaning we'll be without him for at least four games. Let's dive into why this is such a huge blow for the team and what it means moving forward. Before we get started, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and let's jump right in. So here's the deal. Butker isn't just any kicker, he's the kicker. This season, he's hit 18 of 20 field goal attempts, showing an incredible level of consistency and reliability. Just think about all those clutch moments he's delivered for us, whether in playoffs or those nail-biting regular season matchups. Losing him right now, especially with tough games looming, feels like a punch to the gut. Imagine needing a game-winning drive and a 50-yard field goal without Bucker to deliver. It's a scenario no Chiefs fan wants to face. How much do you think his absence will impact the team in the upcoming weeks? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. I want to read them. All right, Chiefs Kingdom. Let's discuss who's stepping in to replace Butker Spencer Shaw. Be honest, how many of you had even heard of him before today? It's definitely a curveball. He comes to us fresh off the New York Jets practice squad. And here's what we know. Shard is 100% on field goal attempts in the NFL. But here's the catch. His sample size is just two attempts. In college at Notre Dame, he made 43 of 63 field goals decent but not exactly elite. Those numbers don't exactly scream future NFL star. It's one thing to drill extra points, but it's another to nail a clutch field goal in Arrowhead with the game on the line. With all that in mind, can Shard rise to the occasion? Here's a quick poll for you. Do you think he'll make at least 75% of his field goal attempts in this stint? Type yes if you're feeling optimistic or no if you're skeptical. And while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe. We're building something great here. Let's talk about the ripple effect of Butker's absence on the team strategy. Losing a top-tier kicker changes everything. With Butker, we knew we could rely on him for those long, high-pressure kicks. Now that safety net is gone, and that's going to shift the game plan. Expect Andy Reid to get a lot more aggressive on fourth downs. Without a reliable kicker, we might see the Chiefs going for it in situations where they would normally opt for the field goal. Fourth and short at the 30-yard line could turn into a crucial drive extension. Plus, the offense, led by Patrick Mahomes, will feel the pressure to finish drives in the end zone. Every possession becomes that much more critical. And don't forget about the defense. If the offense takes risks and falls short, they'll need to step up. How do you think the Chief should handle this aggressive strategy? Let me know in the comments. Now, let's zero in on the upcoming showdown against the Buffalo Bills. This game was already set to be a battle, but with Butker out, it just became even more intense. The Bills are a formidable team with a knack for turning close games into nail biters. Every point counts in matchups like this, and the absence of butt curve makes it feel like an even bigger blow. How many times have Chiefs-Bills games come down to the Y? A single missed field goal could spell the difference between victory and defeat. With Shard stepping in, the pressure to perform is sky high. Expect Reed and the offense to take more risks in the red zone going for touchdowns instead of settling for field goals. It's risky but it might be the only way to keep up with Buffalo's firepower. What's your confidence level going into Sunday? Drop your percentage in the comments. All right, Chiefs fans, let's shift gears and talk about us, the fans. This situation has a lot of people talking, and opinions are all over the place. Some fans are cautiously optimistic about Spencer Shard, thinking he deserves a chance. After 